Jesus, can I really talk and do makeup at the same time? Hey y'all. It's been a minute since we talked, so today I just wanted to do a quick little get ready with me and just say like where I've been. Even though I know y'all miss me. I know y'all miss me. I know y'all miss it. Y'all ain't asked, y'all ain't asked, but I'ma just do it. I'm not. If you see me looking this way or over here, it's because the viewfinder is right there. I don't know when the last time I put makeup on, but we about to put it on today. You know, just catch up with y'all. See how y'all being sick where y'all been, and I'm gonna tell y'all where I'm being and what I've been doing. I oops, see, looking, knocking everything over. I don't know when the last time I've used any of this makeup stuff. I might not even be the color one. I don't even remember which brush I use for foundation. I want to say it's this one. Or it might be this one. My camera be like not trying to focus on nothing but my face. <laughs> Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint in G4 and then the Fenty Skin Blur Smoothing Stick. The ease drop in 19. So we're going to mix these two. I'm not going to do too much because I don't want a lot of makeup on my face. But yeah. So let's see what this stuff looks like and let's see how we turn out like i said lord knows the last time i didn't put on some foundation we're gonna see if this match because i feel like for some reason when i don't put on foundation like it tends to um i feel like that was too much that i just put on my face did i say no makeup makeup look and here i am putting on all that so, anyways, I don't have any questions. I just really wanted to get back on the camera and start filming again. So I'm just going off the dome and what I, whatever comes to mind, I, that's just what I'm gonna talk about. But yeah, how are y'all doing first and foremost? How are y'all doing? What's going on? What's new with you? What's been going on since the last video that I did was like three weeks ago. Today is What's today's date? Let me get my phone. Today is April 27th. So the last time I posted was, uh, I want to say either the last week or the second to last week in March that I posted. And I've been on vacation from work for three weeks. So, and I, my intentions was when I was going to go on vacation for work, I was going to film more. I was going to have this schedule. I was going to do this. I cannot stand with my baby ears. I know y'all probably see that too. Because this camera is giving off very much see everything that I'm doing. <laughs> when vacation came, I told myself I was going to um, film more videos, like more YouTube videos, do TikToks, post pictures on Instagram. Like, I didn't have a plan, but I had a plan, if that makes sense. Only for, um, only for, I need to learn how to talk and do stuff as I go. But, so, and with that being said, I'm going to go in with this Hourglass Maple. My plan was to do that and go in and just give more content. But, clearly, that didn't happen. So, hold on. I'm supposed to do more content or whatever. And I told myself, okay. We gonna actually get a schedule going and, you know, figure out what days we wanna post and what we wanna post, you know, what's beneficial for me. And like, I keep knocking this over and that's gonna annoy me. So, with that being said, I was supposed to do all that. <laughs> do y'all think I did it? No. <laughs> do y'all think I did it? No, but the reason why I'm gonna tell y'all the reason why though I didn't do it more so because I don't know I feel like these past three weeks actually I do know so I need to stop saying I don't know my therapist told me that too stop saying you don't know when you really know so what I really know is <laughs> I was I just feel like the first two days of my vacation I was like okay I'm going to relax I'm going to take time for me because I feel like I've been on go. I haven't, um, I haven't really had time 
to myself. Bear with me, I might not be able to do the makeup and the talking at the same time. So anyways, long story short, when my vacation came, the first two days that I was on vacation, I definitely was like, okay, I need to, I wanna relax. I haven't did anything. Like I haven't really sat down in my apartment since I moved into my apartment and I moved in in December. It's now, what I just say it is, it's now April. So y'all do the math. That's like what? That's four months. But as you see, within those four months, I've just been on go. Like, I've been vlogging and I actually like vlogging. Like I just feel like it's like an open diary for me or just like, you know, me being my usual self, my funny self. Sometimes I may be boring. Sometimes I may be boring all the time. Some people like, girl, this girl ain't talking about nothing. But anyways, neither here nor there. We move. <laughs> we move yeah no i just literally was just like you know i want to spend time with myself i want to um you know figure out my schedule figure out what i want to do figure out what i want to post and just like be intentional about you know what i'm doing like as i said i don't plan all my content i don't plan the things that i want to film like when i vlog i just vlog but I got to a point where I was just like, I think it might be best if I did plan out my content, not my vlogs more so, cause vlogs, I just feel like that's really where, you know, you just vlog in your everyday or you just vlog a day in a life or something like that. Like that's just natural. Maybe what I wore in a week or get ready with me is like what I want to talk about. If people ask me questions, like stuff like that, I just feel like I more so need to plan that. But then again, I don't know. See, now it feels like the stuff that I'm saying is kind of not making sense. Maybe it is making sense, but I'm just thinking too much on it because I didn't plan it. So with the three weeks, I really just been trying to get schedules into place. Like, and that's not just with content, it's with working out because I really, really am trying to get back consistent with working out. Because baby, I'm not even going to be outside for the summer. I know I'm not because I be working on the weekends. So I did like a wellness week and just literally got off instagram and stuff like that because i also felt like being on instagram so much was it was consuming more than i thought and i didn't notice that it was consuming more than i thought until i got off instagram and i was like oh i'm kind of craving instagram if i'm being honest i was like i'm kind of craving instagram i'm craving tiktok i was really craving tiktok because i love tiktok I was still watching YouTube. I'm going to be honest with you. I was still watching YouTube. I don't feel like YouTube has as much as TikTok and Instagram to me. Just constantly scrolling and scrolling. Like, it's a little short videos. I don't really watch shorts too much on YouTube. But videos, they be like 30 minutes, 20 minutes. And it's just like stuff that I feel like can inspire me or motivate me or just like oh that's a cute little idea like oh that's cool blah 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 i love watching people that just moved into their um apartments i really love that like i don't know what it is about seeing people in new apartments and i'm not a creep i'm not that type of person that's just like oh what are they living at what they what city they live in i just want to see the apartment layout and how you decorate it like that's how i am i really just took time for myself because i also was like whether i want to say it or not i feel like i'm trying to pour from an empty cup and i feel like my mind is kind of like all over the place like it's so much that i want to do and so much that i am uh that i have like in mind to do but i feel like if you don't have nothing to pour from or if you're trying to pour from an empty cup and you're just trying to put content out there just to do it then it's just like uh, no like i really want to be intentional i want to i want god's hand to be on everything that I, that everything that i do i need god's hand to be in it so i had to pray about some things i had to write out some things which i do journal like i journal i've been journaling for like the last three years now i've also been wanting to figure me out because i've never had alone time so this is the first time that i've been alone on my own like just everything like this is my first alone season these three weeks has really been like eye opening for me and in a good way i want to learn myself more like i feel like i know me but i don't really know me on a deeper deeper level so i feel like that is something that i've been trying to do you know talk to god about and then i also I, also, I think I told y'all before. Yeah, I told y'all before. One day I was like, oh, I have therapy on one of my vlogs. I was like, oh, I have therapy or whatever like that. Child. Why the therapist? 
this chair keeps tweaking it's gonna annoy me but anyways we move why did the therapist like basically ditch me and i'm like oh my god at the time where i really feel like we were kind of making progress it's like she ditched me i don't want to say it, it didn't really hurt me but it was just like dang okay but then i kind of accept i just accepted it and i was like you know what like this y'all 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 needed that because i also felt like like we needed to be apart like the session needed to come to an end I just personally, I don't feel like I had it in me to tell her, okay, you're not, you're no longer a good fit for me. And the reason why is because when you go to therapy, you're trying to help yourself or you're trying to build yourself, help and build yourself. Like you're just trying to put one foot in front of the other and actually get the help that you're looking for. With my therapist, I feel like we had did a whole year of therapy and I feel like it was literally the same thing. Like, I felt like we didn't dive deep into nothing. We didn't do anything. And one day I literally told her, I said, I wasn't going to come to therapy because I feel like we're not getting anywhere. Like, I got to that point where I was just like, therapy might not be, like, she might not be for me. And I was telling one of my friends, too, like, I don't think my therapist for me because she's not doing anything for me. Like, I will literally go into therapy and we're literally just talking about the same things repeatedly over and over so I literally told her that and I was like, yeah, like, I don't feel like we've gotten deep. And she told me, well, yeah, no, we haven't gotten deep because I was waiting for you to tell me. Have y'all therapists ever told you that? Like, am I as a client, am I the one that's supposed to tell you, okay, I'm ready to dive deep? I know you have those sessions where you tell your therapist, like, okay, maybe I'm not ready to touch that right now. Like, you'll tell them how you're feeling and then you can be like, but I don't know if I have the emotions or the capacity to dive deeper into that right now. But you don't just not go go deeper into the whole therapy journey into the client says they're ready to go deeper. I just feel like that was, it wasn't a waste of my time because I feel like there was some type of growth and outtake from that. We just deep, but not deep enough. It, did that make sense? I hope it makes sense. I'm going to just go to the next thing. Hold on. My mama calling me. <laughs> hello. Hello. Hey, now. Hey, now. Y'all, at this point, <laughs> it's like a whole nother day. I'm just playing. It's not a whole nother day, but child, I didn't got on the phone with my mom. I didn't finish everything that I needed to do because as y'all see, I was not, I don't know if the camera's focusing for real. I, mean, I couldn't talk. So, <sighs> yeah. But my three weeks away, they were actually good. I was off socials for a week. Finally started working out and I feel good about it. So I've been doing that consistently for three weeks and I'm happy about that. I wanted to start back filming. I didn't know when I wanted to start, but I feel like slowly but surely building up to this day. Like I was like, we'll do like a semi get ready with me or like a what I'm wearing today or something like that. So that's what we're doing today. But I hope you guys have been just amazing i hope y'all be doing good and i hope life is going good for you you know i hope life's going good for you oh and i also found another therapist because i think i'm also at a point in my life or at this point in this space that i'm in right now i'm at a point where i'm really really trying to get to know me better following me in my adulthood that i'm trying to release or let go of so found a therapist and I'm so excited. I start, what is it? I start next week. So I'm excited about that. Um, any other updates on me? Let's see, do I have any other updates? I don't have anything, but I'm excited to get back into making content and just being intentional about the things that I do. Cause I told y'all vlogs, I do not plan. I just go with emotion. And that was another thing with being on these three weeks, I feel like I didn't have anything to film. I was not about to turn that camera on and just have y'all see me go, wake up, <laughs> wash my face, brush my teeth, go to the gym, come back home, take a shower, and just sit in my house and watch TV. I was not about to do that. That's literally what I did these three weeks. I didn't plan a vacation. I didn't do nothing. It's so crazy because I always tell myself, like, you got this time, just plan a vacation. I just feel like vacation is not in the cards for me right now. Like, I need to get other things in line and in order that I'm trying to I'm trying to have things in order before I turn 30 so I'm really just trying to 
get those things in motion and in order before that time. So I think this year I'm really not going to do that. Like even for my birthday, I don't think I'm going to go out of town. And I haven't been out of town since I went to Dubai. And I think that was maybe four years ago. We gonna see what I do this year for my birthday. But all in all, I just feel good. I'm in good spirits. I wanted to come in and just make this quick little video and just tell y'all where I've been. Child, my therapist left me. I'm trying to get my relationship right with God. Seriously, and all that. It's not joking around about that. And yeah, like just really trying to be my best me and show up better than how I've been showing up for myself. And I feel like I'm finally like in that space where I'm done moving things. And it's finally just me and me. Like really a me and me time. Like I don't have no... Cause y'all know I was like every vlog that I was doing, I was going back to my parents' house or our packages was coming and I was putting stuff around, trying to see where I wanted stuff. So I'm now at the space now where, as you see my beauty room, you don't see anything behind me. I don't know, well, you can't really see, it's just the door. But <laughs> my beauty room, all I have is my chair in here, my mirror, my shoes, um, and my Bible and stuff right there. But it's nothing here yet. Like, I'm just being patient. I know that me furnishing a place by myself is not easy. Like, it's all coming out of my pocket. So it's just like, girl, be patient with yourself. <laughs> you ain't got all the funds yet, okay? And that's perfectly fine. This is your first space. Golly, this is your first space. So just be patient and enjoy the process. And I'm trying to learn that and be safe with that i even came to terms with i don't even know if i'm gonna have a couch in this but i need to stop saying it out loud because i've said that but i've also come not come to terms i came to terms about it like said it it's okay if i don't have a couch in this apartment because i really don't want to buy a couch just to say oh i got a couch in my apartment like girl it's okay if you ain't got no couch <laughs> it is okay couches are expensive some are cheap i would have found one that was um not as expensive way cheaper than other prices couches that i've seen and it is on sale so i might end up getting that couch and it's a couple couches that i've seen on wayfair but one thing about wayfair is one couch they will have a similar couch and for some reason one is higher than the other how you got a couch that's like 400 right here but then another couch that i see is a thousand and then another couch on top of that is two thousand i'm just like am i missing something here let me know if I'm Mr. Other the way here because why are these couches this price? So, yeah, that's the thing. I want to get this dresser from CB2 that I've seen. It's really, really cute and really, really nice. It look pricey. It look pricey, but, you know. Child, I just really had to come to terms. Just like, okay, these are your big girl purchases. So, let's, let's make it make sense and let's make sure that you're not only wanting it for the moment you want it for the long run what, what i'm gonna do next apartment i go to oh i don't want this couch no more it don't fit in here or it just don't do nothing for me and i'm gonna get another one i know the content creators make money but baby i don't make money <laughs> i'm just doing this for fun and my job pays me well but no we gotta make it make sense baby until the end this is my funds ain't coming out of my pocket so mm. <laughs> i'm just playing. it's a lot but yeah how y'all being how y'all doing what y'all to some goals y'all got planned this summer it's quarter two at this point now quarter one was really good for me quarter one was really good one of the goals that i had planned i didn't do that and i'm just carrying it over to this quarter so it's okay i'm perfectly fine with it I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm really just setting goals quarterly because I feel like that's better for me to set it yearly because I know if it's yearly, that gives me more room for me to be like, oh, I can mess up or I can get to that because I got six months left in the year. No, baby. Quarter, we got to do it like this. Yeah, I don't think I have any other updates. I don't think I have anything left besides I'm sad that TikTok is banned. It took for me to leave TikTok. I mean, for, yeah, for me to take a break from TikTok for y'all to be like, Child. that's why they say don't wait just post and go don't wait for nobody don't wait until stuff is perfect just post and go because the whole tiktok is about to be gone that was a good app that was a good app to post on 
I like that app. People over there are actually friendly. People on YouTube are friendly too. You just got to build your community and that's what I'm trying to do now. I want to build a community, like a solid, solid community where y'all show up for me and I show up for y'all. And I'm just being my genuine self. Y'all accept me for who I am. Y'all don't step over boundaries. Like, you know, I want to love the community that I have. Like, even the followers that I have now, I think I have like 167 followers. We're just getting started. Like, this is my community with me and 167 followers that I have. Love y'all. Shout out to y'all. I really want some, some meaning behind what I'm doing. So that's why I said I got to be intentional. Got to be intentional. I don't want to just post just to say that I'm posting and the work is sloppy and it's like no meaning behind it. Yes. So that is everything. I think I'm going to stand up and I'm going to show y'all what I have on. This is the fragrance for today. I'm pretty sure that y'all were seeing it in the corner. I just so happened to pick these up and I just was like, hmm, they both smell good. So this is Miss Dior Bloom Bouquet. I only like the Bloom Bouquet version. Them other versions are too floral for me. I'm not a floral girl. And then this is the original, cause they got a whole bunch of Valentinos. This is the original Valentino and you see it's only a little bit of left. I love this. Here we are. Oops. <laughs> we are stepping into womenhood. <laughs> I told y'all when I'm not ready to go, I just get to rambling. I'm looking around trying to see if it's something I can talk about. Girl, get off the camera. Get off the, get off the camera. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope I was, I know I was rambling. So please be patient with me. You know, just watch the whole video. If you got this far, then thank you so much. I love you. And comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you, boy. Hold on, I gotta get right. I was saying, um, I was saying how I feel like I'm lucky running out of this. Like it's, so what was I saying? I forgot that fast what I was saying. What was I talking about? All right, I, I haven't really time. I haven't had time. I can't even get it out. Jesus, can I really talk and do makeup at the same time? Okay. So the girls I look, this tan line right here, baby. Girl, I got it because I went to the beach on my wellness week. Went to the beach and was reading a book and had on the tank top. Because this chair squeaking is just, it's, it's not okay. I feel like this is a cute thing. Yeah.